We have a big live today. For those of you actually tuning in for the first time, hello, you're seeing me the first time. My name is Melissa, owner designer here of graceandlace.com, a women's apparel company who make and design our items. Um, just for you, to help you look good and feel good. And today we are launching some more of our fall line coming in highly anticipated items. We have some so soft um, turtlenecks, you guys. If you had our dress, our ribbed dress last year, was it last year? That soft, super stretchy, amazing thing is now in a turtleneck for this year in the perfect red and this really pretty kind of cornflower um, periwink blue color. We have some Stay Grateful graphic tees, which is great with Thanksgiving coming up. Some more from our Lux line, okay? Some kind of hoodie type, type styles. The first ever time that Grace and Lace has ever done a big, giant, long line puffer jacket in a color that you, our VIPs, chose is here. And then last but not least, um, Cloud. Everything's better. Everything is better in cloud material, especially when it's cold. It was all dreary and like looked like it was cold outside today. Here we are like 85 degrees again and muggy and humid. So hop on over here. We also do have a sale going on today. Our great denim sale is happening. It is 30% off denim, up to, sorry, I wanna make sure I get this right. Actually, I could just read the card. <laughs> That's here for me. It's up to 30% off denim. Plus an additional, if you purchase three pairs or more, you get an additional 10% off and you have to use the code great denim. You guys know, you know, our denim is great. So that's a great code to use. So um, up to 30% off select styles on denim. You buy three or more additional 10% off of that with the code great denim. So use the code great denim. So, okay, you're here. I hope you guys are coming. I hope you guys are coming over. I hope you're not still lost in, in Facebook world over there that's not working. But we're just gonna go ahead and, and get started and jump in, jump in because um, I have a lot to talk about. So not starting with this first, we are actually starting with the, um, the so soft polo, the turtleneck. You guys, okay, so last year, I think it was last year, I hope it's last year, my brain's a little bit scrambled, but we did this rib, we did a ribbed sweater dress. If you remember, we just did it in black. We should have made it in a lot of, in a lot of colors, okay? But it was long and it was ribbed, it was turtleneck style, and if you have it, you know, because it's like the softest thing on the planet, right? Okay, so we use that same yarn to create a basic, super basic turtleneck. Now, I say basic turtleneck, but here's the thing, you guys. I'm not the biggest fan of true turtlenecks because I'm not a big fan of anything being tight on my neck. So, if you know me, you know. In the design process, I'm going to make um, some slight changes to make sure that I don't even suffocate myself in my own style. So we made it a turtleneck, but we did not make it super tight against the neck. Let me get this all kind of, I should have just started with this on and then I wouldn't have to mess with it. But so we, the, the ribbed material is super, super soft, very, very stretchy. Okay. So you get that night. Look at this. Okay, it's really soft, super stretchy, but still has this kind of close to body fit. And then look, see, can you guys see? <laughs> I'm not suffocating myself. Now, I know some of you are like, I love turtlenecks that sit really close to my neck. You might love that. <laughs> and I wish maybe that I would have designed this this way, but we intentionally did not want that to sit and really like have, that's what's so great about using this stretchy material is that it looks and sits up very nice like a turtleneck, but it's not like that, okay? All right, so two colors in this, perfect red, which if you know, you know, our perfect red is the perfect red. It is not too orangey yellow red to that side. It's not too blue red. It literally, I mean, look at the color, right? It literally is the most perfect red. Fit on this is super, super stretchy and nice and roomy. So if between sizes, I'm between an extra small and a small, and I did go down to the extra small for that kind of closer to body fit, I would say in your normal size, it will be like a nice, fit, not compression, not super tight, just really, really nice turtleneck fit. The other color in this is like this light blue, 
purpley, kind of a little purple hint, dusty blue, like kind of a cornflower periwinkle color a little bit in there. Um, not bright, not too light, really, really has just like, can you guys see? It's a really, really, pr really pretty blue color, that kind of hint of dusty and ever so slight hint of like maybe a little bit of a purpley tinge under that. So two very, very different options. Looking forward to the holidays and thinking through, moving towards the holidays, perfect red is a perfect red. Honestly, it's perfect red any time of year. My mom is a huge red wearer, so this is her color to the max, but so pretty for the holidays. Whether you put like a dark denim, high-waisted denim, you can pair this with skirts, okay? And then this is a more like versatile color. This you can wear well in, well past the holidays, well into January, February. I mean, really just a nice, basic, pretty kind of cornflower blue, okay? Um, let's bring the girls out in these. Let's see, Taylor's in this one. And she's showing you the holiday festive, festive, okay? Don't look at my sneakers, I wouldn't wear these sneakers with this, but we're about to talk with them really soon. Say, so tucked in, nice, classy, threw the hat on, a skirt, she's got a high boot, like she's ready for anything festive this time of year, or coming up this time of year, okay? Even just workwear, holiday parties, okay? This, you cannot go wrong. You absolutely cannot go wrong in this perfect red color. And the way that it pops off, darks or lights or anything you pair it with is literal perfection. When you get this, you will say, yes, this is the perfect red. Okay, so Taylor in the extra small, I'm in the extra small as well. So between sizes, I would size down in this. Um, unless you know you don't want a close to body fit, I do have my launch day tank on underneath this, which I normally wouldn't do. Yes, Renee, Olivia's back. Oh, you guys see her on the site. Her pictures are coming up. Oh, for you, those of you who don't know, Olivia had been our model for six years, seven years. The story of us finding her and her modeling us for that long. Um, is amazing, this little commercial moment. But she um, she retired, retired from modeling to get married, have a family. She's got two little boys that are, I think, four and three and a half and one and a half. Yeah, that sounds right. But anyway, we begged her out of re retirement. I was like, we're gonna be in Vail, we're shooting. Will you please model? Because I know, here's the thing. A model to us is so much more than a pretty face or pretty body or great shape or anything like that. To me, it's what their heart speaks through the pictures and through the cl clothing that matters the most out of, out of all of that, honestly. And I know you guys know, or VIPs know as well as I do, that she just radiates through her photos. So anyway, she's back with us and we're so excited about that. So anyway, that's my commercial moment in this. Um, this, I, I would say at your true to size, it'll be a comfortable, perfect, casual, not too tight, not too loose. If you're between, I would suggest going down unless you know that you don't want it to sit close to your body. Okay. Um, who's up? I me. Mean, I always look over here. I don't know why I don't know that yet. Okay. Denise is with us today. Double timing duty. <laughs> um, so cute. Look at this. Look at how that red pops off the dark denim. Okay. I love that. She looks classy. She's got our black. We're almost sold out of this. If you have been looking, waiting, sitting on the butterfly leather vest, do not sit any longer because it's almost sold out. But look at how neat, classy, fabulous. She's ready for a holiday party too. So if you're not the skirt wearing, if you don't want the high boots, but you want a jeans look, perfect for that. Normal size medium um, on her in this too, okay? Oh, yes, I know. You guys, there's just so many ways and so many things to compare this with that look fabulous. Okay, Michelle in this one, in her normal size large. Look at how pretty this color is. Popping off the black would also be great on a dark uh, blue color, okay, or a darker blue wash. This color would be great on. And you can see, see how it's like that dusty blue, little bit of that undertone has a slight hint of purple. Really pretty. Great, great, great pretty color. And that's her normal size large. And then Amanda in this one. Um, Christina, I think it, she was a 10 in the jeans, but uh, we will find out for you and see what, um, what, size Denise's jeans is. Okay, so you can layer this up too. It does not have to be worn by itself. It's fabulous, super soft, very stretchy, but putting a cardi over it, wearing it with a leather jacket would be great. Styling it with some drop necklaces like Amanda has, and she's in her normal size extra large. Really, really fabulous, very, very pretty color, okay? Any questions on this, Christina, besides? Uh, we'll find out what size Denise's jeans were, and she had the button fly, she had the button fly flares on. We'll find that out and get back with you. She's up there changing and running the show upstairs, okay? Okay, so if you're not a turtleneck wearer, this is the one that I would say, 
if you're going to branch out and try it, this is the one to try it because look, see, I'm not being suffocated. <laughs> And it's not too hot and it's not too warm and it's not fuzzy or itchy. Sometimes when I have that fuzzy close to my neck, I like break out in itchy kind of hives, red splotches or whatever, okay? So knowing you have the stretch, stay in your normal size. You might be able to size down if you want it to be a little bit more fitted um, or sit a little bit closer to your body, okay? All right, let's move on to the VIP favorite scoop neck tea, okay? VIP favorite was a VIP, a Grace and Lace VIP page, first of all. If you're not a member of our Grace and Lace VIP page, make sure you hop over there onto Facebook. That page is working, just our live isn't working, okay? Um, hop on over there, join the page because that page is absolutely fabulous. Then they aren't, they're, they're fabulous to each other, fabulous to newcomers, fabulous to people who've been with us for years and years, but also they give us like suggestions of colors, bodies, textures, prints, things they like and they don't like, and we take that feedback seriously. So this was one, why we call it the VIP fave tea is because this was a sketch floral tea that we did a year ago that they asked for in different bodies. So it's that nice, our signature, super stretchy, very soft and slinky material in our V-neck P, V-neck P, VIP, oh my gosh, VIP page. Um, favorite body fit, and this time with a scoop neck. So we did V-necks in a print, we did V-necks in solids, and this is the scoop neck version. So same fit if you're a VIP, you have, or if you have that T, same fit if you have that T, it just has a scoop neck version. So for those of you, I'm, I'm doing on camera changes. <laughs> Again, I did them last week too. Oh, Shannon says she loves the periwinkle blue shade. It's a really, really pretty blue. I am I usually gravitate towards reds or bold or bold colors, but that is a really, really pretty shade of a dusty kind of periwinkle blue, okay? Um, so if you're new to our VIP favorite tea, <laughs> VIP fave, it is, um, I would say it is a relaxed, True to size, but a relaxed fit. So nothing is very fitted. If you're between sizes, we do make this extra extra small to extra extra large so that you can kind of determine which fit you like best in this. I'm between an extra small and a small and I do prefer the extra small. I feel like it still gives me a nice flowy fit without being tight anywhere and the material has stretched. Now for the graphic on this, this is Victoria graphic. The Stay Grateful is kind of leaning in towards this harvest season, moving into Thanksgiving, moving into next month. It kind of has that aged sunflower type of feel when the harvest starts to turn and change, okay? And then of course, I know, VIPs have given us feedback. They don't always love words <laughs> on their graphic tees, but in this world, especially these days, we all need to stay grateful, okay? Absolutely, 100%. Stay grateful. This is a word, if we have any words, two words, that everyone needs to hear and everyone needs to see and everyone needs to be, okay, to be honest. So we have that kind of dark slate gray body and then that harvest feel. Um, this is great whether you just tuck this in, leave it out, throw it on with a cardi with a jacket. I know a lot of you are not in 90 degree weather still right now like we are in Texas. Um, so, but having a long sleeve, you know, that you just throw on and wear this under or layered underneath, um, the, the, it would be great underneath the leather jacket, be great underneath any cardi, but you get that really just basic kind of harvesty olives in here on that slate gray, okay? Um, you have this little side slits in here, the drop hem slightly at the back, and then just a nice, comfortable, roomy fit. As far as sizing, if you know what size you are in your VIP fave tee, get that size. If you're new to us, I would go ahead and size, go, stay in your normal size, unless you're sometimes between sizes, and then I would size just no. Okay, let's bring out Taylor in this one. This is what I mean. You can just layer this super simple for transitional weather. So, like now, she will need, she's gonna go outside in about an hour. She's gonna have to be in that t-shirt. She's gonna be way too hot in a denim jacket here in Texas, which is unfortunate, but we have cooler weather coming. <clears throat> but layer this up is super cute, transitional, and kind of feels like that harvesty vibe, kind of feel this time of year, colors are changing, leaves are falling, and we're reminding ourselves this kind of grateful season, what to be grateful for. Okay, extra, your extra, extra small, mm -hmm. right? Extra, extra small, which is her, more of her true size. Nice, casual, stretchy, relaxed fit, and I'm in the extra small. And this one, okay? 
Denise up in this, and then you can just go, I mean, you you can just be a jean and tee girl, yeah. okay? <laughs> but you don't have to even be complicated with this, but really easy to do. Give it a little front tuck, throw it on with a pair of sneakers. She's got Mel's faves on. Do you remember what size you wore in the last jeans? Um, in the last jeans, they were tense. They were tense. Did you like the fit? Yes. Okay. She was intense, those of you asking. Yes, she's intense, too. and she's intense in these two. <laughs> um, so, just a casual distressed jean, and it's 85 degrees, and she's ready for the date today. <laughs> okay? Uh, questions on this one? Well, we, we wait for the rest of the girls to come knock. Yes. Yes. Very similar to the mustard v-neck tee. Similar fit. Same fabric. The difference is you've got the scoop neck at the neck, and then obviously a different graphic. Um, with the state grateful wording and obviously the color is like this dark kind of slate gray. Okay, but same fit as that one. Yes. Okay, Michelle in this as she's running down. Just another kind of type of layer to layer up. You can just do any type of hoodie. She's pulling out a little bit of this green um, in the floral. There's like an olive -y green in that floral. She's pulling that out with that. But there's a scoop neck and normal size large. large. Okay, normal size large on her in that. Okay. Let's see, I'm wearing the new brown sweater today. Oh, Laura, so wherever she is, she's cool. She, she's, it's cooler weather than it is here. She's wearing the brown sweater. Um, works great with a denim jacket. Would look really good if you've got the ivory, um, do we call it ivory or cream? Moto jacket in that color would look really, really good in that. Um, you can throw, I mean, honestly, oh, if you have the, the, this. She's just coming out. If you have the, the, this, this is what I was going to say. <laughs> if you have the bamboo, if you do not have the rib bamboo, somehow, some way, our rib bamboo is more fabulous than any other bamboo we've so ever created. Nice. I don't even know how that's possible. But look at that creamy, okay? The cream colors just really pop off of that. So when you're thinking ahead to Thanksgiving, thinking of how being being comfortable after all that turkey, after all that food, this is a great, great, great outfit to kind of put together and be cozy and comfortable. And Amanda's in her normal size, extra large. Yes. On that. Okay. Okay. Any other questions on this one? And we are moving on to, what are we doing next? Uh, the puff, well, I can keep this on. Okay. The puffer jacket. For the first time ever, Grace and Lace has done a true and real <laughs> puffer jacket. And we went all out. Okay, so in the past we've done, some of you will remember, we had like the puffer and the knit sleeves that had the puffer hood and it had like a knit arm on it. We've done puffer vests in the past, but we have ev never, we've never done a full true winter coat in the, the same polyfill, the nice puffer, it's got the, the um, quilting lines in it, it's got this nice big hood, it has the Sherpa, there's Sherpa running all through the hood and Sherpa trims running all the way down the placket and then obviously fully um, lined here and throughout the whole coat. So first time, you guys actually, going back to our VIP page and talking about this, this was, we've been working on this for like a year. So I wanna say it was probably a year ago when this was our like sample fabric color. And I don't know why, I guess for some reason I like posted a selfie picture of me in it, maybe because it was like 80 degrees or something and I had to be wear testing a big puffer jacket. Anyway, it was in the sample and the VIPs on the VIP page is like, please tell me they're all, please tell me it's, color, it's coming in that color. We actually, we're not even gonna do this color, but due to the VIPs telling us they really, really love this color, we, we did love it too. We actually had not picked or chosen colors yet. So anyways, it is in this crystal, do we call it crystal miss? Silver mist, there we go. Silver mist, a really pretty, silvery, wintry, blue cast. Get my hair out of there, okay? I, it's showing up totally what it looks like in real life, okay? Full zip, you guys, I'm gonna have to back up, okay? Full zip, long line puffer, so full zip, and plus it has the snap pla placket closure, so you can snap all this all up, okay? It's got the long sleeves, and I'm not gonna snap that for you because I'm probably gonna have to take this off, but this all snaps, this can all snap close. Okay, rib sleeve opening, deep side pockets, and then big giant hood, okay? So if you need to close out, okay? You, <laughs> I'm ready for snow, you guys. I'm just looking at myself. Totally ready for snow in this. Now, 
This is a long line jacket. This is meant to keep you very, very warm. Okay, it's polyfill. We do not use real down. We do not use feather down. Okay, so I, get, I know some of you probably need feather down where you live, Canada, Minnesota, <laughs> Wisconsin. Okay, you need like true. This is a polyfill down, true puffer jacket. I am gonna start roasting here in a second as we're talking about this. Now, true, it's called a long line jacket. True long line length. I'm 5'5", five five, and this comes just above my knees, can you guys see? Maybe I'll come, there we go. Just above my knees, full, covers the booty. This is the great thing about this. If you're wanting to wear leggings somewhere and it's colder, you need a long line puffer jacket because your booty can get chilly in the cold and it doesn't with this around it. Now, we know that long line jackets typically have a dual zipper. And um, in the design process, when working with the designers, we didn't love the dual zipper feature. It actually was kind of getting caught up. It was kind of chunky, coming both ways. So we did the side vents for you right here. So there is zippered side vents on both sides. What this does is this allows you all the room in the world to chase kids around, run with it. A lot of line line jackets that don't have that, you can walk in just fine. But if you're like taking a wider step than that, big step, you can get caught up. So you have the side vents, the optional side vents, or for comfort sitting, if you're someone who doesn't take your jacket off, like you're riding a subway. I mean, for me driving in a car, I always take every jacket off because I don't like the bulk, but if for some reason, or whatever, you're sitting at an event and you need that extra vented room to sit, you can vent those open. Okay, now in normal walking and in normal movement, you don't need them open. We wanted to make sure that you didn't, it didn't have to force to be open. But we're giving you that option, like I said, playing in the snow with your kids, okay? Uh, I'm tubing, pulling them up the hills. Whenever you're needing to take like wider or bigger steps and you want that extra movement, there's that option for you, okay? Okay, questions on this. We're gonna talk about fit for a second. It is a generous fit jacket. We know, and we've heard from you guys, that you prefer your outerwear not to be on the fitted side. Normally, I have to size up in jackets, normally, um, like out in the world, North Face, whatever. I'm usually sizing up because I usually have very thick, heavy, multiple layers underneath. I'm in the extra small. That's very rare for me to need to size down, to size down in a jacket out in the normal world. But we know you guys want to have room to move to layer, I could have a big old thick hoodie underneath this and be totally just fine. So this is extra small. So I'd stay in your normal size in this. Unless you plan, like if, I, I don't even think I'd go up. I could probably put, I could put a hoodie under this just fine in the extra small. Um, it really just depends. I, I think in your normal size and with everyone else in, in their normal size, they really, really like their normal size. It's got the nice sleeve length on here. And again, the deep, um, deep pockets here on the side that go way down. Okay, any questions on this? I am roasting, so yes, it's hot. <laughs> we did crank the AC down to like, I don't know, 66 or something in here because we knew we'd all be roasting. It is warm and it's rated to be warm. It is an outerwear winter jacket. That being said, it's not down fill. So if you're someone in Canada, Minnesota, Wisconsin, up there, you're freezing cold winters, believe me, I lived through those for 18 years of my life. I know some of you need the true like down, but honestly, my, um, even in Colorado, when we're there for the winters, this would be plenty, okay? Unless I'm like planning to be out for many, many hours and know that I need, but this, this is warm. It is a very, very warm jacket, okay? Okay, <laughs> Lindsay, I grew up in Minnesota. This, I would absolutely, actually just sent this jacket to my sister for there, so. Um, would absolutely be warm enough for that. I, unless you're like spending, like if you're going like horseshoeing, uh, like, like if you're going, I'm trying to think of like activities or things where you're outside for a very, very long time and you know you need that. But honestly, layering under and having base layers under is actually more warm than actually even putting a warmer jacket on. It's better to layer your next to your body layers to be warmer, okay? Yes, cruelty feet, free. We're not, not using, we didn't use down in here. And we're not pricing it to use down in here because it would have to be well, 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 well over $100, okay? Okay, can you wear, yes. Um, I was just gonna comment to Dan, but I did read your comment, you're not Dan. You are, oh, I can't remember who said that. Someone said, I'm using my husband's account. Whoever's using their husband's account, I could, yes. I could wear a hoodie underneath the 
um, extra small just fine. I'll put the small on for you guys. Let's have Taylor come out while I do that. This is the extra small and I have room. Taylor's got multiple layers on too. And you guys know she's more of an extra small, small, but plenty, plenty big, plenty long sleeve, plenty long length. But here in, here in Texas, we, we don't need this a lot until the one time a year, two times a year, which we've had the last, what, three years that we get these snowstorms here, which are just crazy, okay? Um, so I would say nor everyone's in their normal size except for those between, which I'm between. Um, and I prefer to go down to the extra small, but I'll throw a small for you too. So Taylor and extra small. The quilting changes to the V in the back quilting, which we just thought is really flattering and slimming and having just kind of that pop Sherpa from the hood um, looks great too, okay? Okay, yes, Lindsay, Christmas tree hunting. <laughs> you need to go find a Christmas tree, bundle up in this. This is the small now for those of you who wanted to see the small on me. And then we'll bring Denise out in a second too. Okay, here's small. Okay, so I get more room, more room, very cozy. And I don't think I would need to open these vents at all, probably in this one. I think I could probably even take like running strides and, and I can sit by, you guys. I just tried to show you, this one does have extra room throughout the body for me. Not that I feel like the extra small was small, but if you're between and wondering if you want something even more, wait, hold on, hold on. I've never done this before. Bring a chair out, we're gonna test it. Okay, so if you do sit and are needing to sit, you, I can sit in this one and I'm not, um, I'm not needing to open the vents, but both sides work, both sides work. <laughs> okay, let's bring Denise on. Oh, my, my coat demonstration, okay? Denise is totally bundled up and probably completely roasting the ground <laughs> here. But she's layered it with the, the we're about to talk with this, about this scarf here soon, but that blue in there with kind of this like crystally blue, misty color blue, dusty blue, and with the jeans and with sneakers. Um, she actually looks like <laughs> cute and styled. I know, it's like, what? I can do when it. do we need to open? <laughs> Look at that. See what your vents do? <laughs> if you really need to move, you really have that option to open your vents. Okay, normal size, medium on her. And that's what size, she would not need to size up, yeah. not size down, medium's perfect, with good room on her. Okay, <laughs> can we see the back? Um, did you see the back, Teresa? We showed it on, um, I, I, we had it out on Taylor for a long time, and I showed you the quilting, should, should have seen that. Okay, um, um, Michelle on this one. And then she's showing you layered with a hoodie. So truly, if you need to layer, put your warm layers, get your warm layers underneath, and we've got like nice, amount of roomy coziness. Having a tight jacket, I agree with you, okay? Having a tight jacket is not fun for anyone, and that's why I usually size up, especially in a winter jacket. So having that room, having that coziness, and Michelle's in her normal size large. Okay, questions on this, the vent idea. I, we knew we wanted to, you know, when you do a long line option like this, um, it's important to have movement. It really is important to have movement. And that was the biggest thing was like, wow, can I, if I needed to run somewhere, can I run in that? Or do I have to like hoist my jacket up? How does that work? So we tried the reverse zipper. We didn't love that. And so we put these vent um, sides here and you can open them just a little bit too. Okay. And be just totally cute. You don't have to slide them all the way open. You know, you do whatever feels great in this jacket. Okay, Amanda in this. Um, she's cozied up. She needs a pair of leggings. Her, know, her legs sorry. are going to freeze outside. <laughs> but just for an example, this is a good dress jacket, okay? A lot of times dresses, for those of you, trust me, born and raised in Minnesota, survived Minnesota winters for 18 years, okay? Having, the having a long jacket with your dress options in the winter is ideal and ideal because otherwise you have like short proper jackets and you've got the long and you just have a dress on. Okay, so this, she's kind of showing you that this kind of lines up with having a dress option and in her normal size, extra large. Okay. Um, Renee, is it a lightweight feel? It's not heavy on the body. It's very lofty. Okay, the polyfill in here, the polyfill in the material and the material is very, very soft and pliable. A lot of puffers have a thicker, stiffer and really swishy 
type of fabric fabric on the outside. We wanted ours to be like kind of soft and that's it. I have a jacket that I hate bending my arms in in the poly because it feels like I'm just having to crunch too much. This really pushes down for you and really collapses for you when you bend and moves with you. So very soft. We took every problem I'd have out of every jacket in my 18 years in Minnesota and I tried to fix it <laughs> um, and tried to give you that long line option as well. Okay, any questions on this? Otherwise, we will, we will move on. That was the small on me. Um, I, I prefer the extra small. I can even layer with the extra small. Okay, let's go on to the Lux Knit Jacket. I warned you at the beginning of this year that um, I was going big or going home on my Lux line for my own personal reasons. <laughs> and if y'all wanna buy it, <laughs> please buy it because I am a huge fan of our Lux knit material. Here's the thing, I've told you guys before, I'm not the biggest like inside like sweater you know sweaters that are too fuzzy or definitely not fuzzy itchy I, there's a time and a place for fuzzy sweaters absolutely um, but they're not the ones that i go to or try to wear or want to wear every day i much prefer something like this that's nice and soft very dense squishy type of fabric but is nice and soft and smooth on the inside so this is like your track jacket or sports jacket type of so it's a hoodie type style but without the hood so it really gives you this year around honestly year around option um oh my gosh i say that oh my gosh is my is my is my reaction every time i put on bamboo but it is absolutely every time i put on lux there's just something about having that inside silky softness that's not like the super fuzzy or definitely not an itchy type of fuzzy Okay, you have those Kanga pockets here on the side. The full zip goes, does go all the way up on this one to kind of that mock neck collar. And then the ribbing details on the bottom and on um, the wrist. Just, this is like, this is go-to 101 for jacket, for like a layering jacket that is honestly year round. And what I like about that is that this material, the modal in here is naturally kind of temperature regulating and stabilizing a little bit like it is with bamboo being that natural fiber, but it's one of those styles that you don't get too hot in and you don't get too cold in. And it does have that naturally silky kind of cool handed feel, but that nice dense plush. Can you guys see? It's hard to see, it's hard to tell, but it's like a nice kind of like dense plush dense material without being fuzzy. Okay, Martina says, I love Lux material. <laughs> Thank you for making more. Um, is this the same as the half zip ones? Yes, yes, Laura, same as the half zip in the olive and navy from last year. The difference is this is a full zip and it has the Kanga pocket. So, and obviously the different colors. Two colors in this, we call this one raisin. And then look at this should have been like called the VIP fave launch or something because another big request from that Facebook VIP page is our Portobello color that we've done in tees for seven years. <laughs> seven years ago, we maybe did that Portobello color. It's a, it's a brown cast gray, okay? So it's not, um, it's a warm gray. That's a good way to say it. Warm brown cast, brown cast gray, kind of like a Portobello mushroom, okay? Um, so it has that really warm undertones of a gray, really fabulous and great um, neutral color. I would say that color looks very accurate back here. And then the raisin is like a good deep wine brown, um, or like a purple, purple cast wine in this one, okay? Fit is to, will there be pants? Lindsay, I wanted to make pants, <laughs> matching pants with these so bad. We were not able to in this one, but I wanted to. It was on the list and unfortunately it got cut but I really wanted to make the joggers um, again in the matching colors in this, but no, there's not a matching jogger in this one, okay? Um, let's see, no pants in this one, so sorry. As far as fit, I would call it true to size. If you're between, um, it's a good true to size fit. If you're between and, I'm gonna go to extra small, that was the small on me, by the way. Extra small on um, me is just a little, sits a little closer to my body, which is fine for like a T or a tank underneath this but if i wanted to have like more of a long sleeve um 
I probably would go up to the small. So this one fits that extra small. I'm trying to tuck my, I'm gonna try to tuck my T under so you can kind of see the length on that one. See how it's just real close. The material is close to the body, fits very nice and slim on me. I still zip this all the way up just fine, but a little bit more slimming for me between sizes going down. I tend to like, I tend to like have a little bit more room. These are like the type that I would grab and go. I'll wear this to my kids' sports games. Um, I'll wear this like outside, especially when it starts to get cooler here. So the small gives me just a little bit more, um, you know, just kind of throw throw that on and relax fit, but both fit me just fine. So between, I'd really make your decision to go up or down based on um, if you plan to like layer it or if you plan to just kind of wear this with a tank or a t-shirt or something like that, okay? Okay, um, yes, it's this very similar to the color in the perfect pocket tee, the Portobello. It was it was color, color designed after that one, the Portobello. Um, and then you guys can see, see how much more, like this is like a dark gray. There you can see that brown cast, that warm cast in the gray in the portobello. Okay, let's bring, let's bring the girls out in this one. Taylor in this, extra small on her. Guys, it's really just one to throw on with a t-shirt, a long sleeve tee, put a tank under this. You could do, um, you could do the tank top kind of tucked in for a little bit sportier look, but really just casual, easy to put on, and is that nice, silky, soft, stretchy, cozy perfection of material without being fuzzy, <laughs> okay? So Taylor in extra small, and then I'm in extra small in this color as well, okay? Um, Denise in this one, normal size medium on her. This is what I'm saying, very cute with just a tank under. So if you wanted to kind of just give, give into that like sport type of look a little bit, throw it on with a tank, give you that slight type of layer, pair of jeans, pair of sneakers, it makes this really, really easy to have a layer. This is even one you can just kind of keep in the car if you know like, hey, it's probably gonna be cold or I might need something in the mornings or the evenings. That's how the state we're in in Texas right now. Um, but uh, those of you that are cold or you're round or whatever, have that, to have it handy, it's perfect. Normal size, medium on her, okay? Um, Laura says she loves this new style. It's a hoodless option. We've got the Lux in the hood for you. <laughs> I had that on the other day. We've got the long one, the Lux pullover with the hood and the V and the long length. This is that one that you just have hanging in your coat closet. You need to grab something. In fact, Sienna just today, she's like, am I gonna need a jacket for school today? And I was like, no, but you can grab one. She grabs, <laughs> this is something you grab and then she walks up and she's like, it's hot and it's sticky outside. Okay, this is that one you grab for when you do need a color. Okay, Michelle in this one. Another type of stylized look. So if you wanna go with the option of not just the thing you grab, but actually wanna put a look together, the raisin color looks really fabulous with khaki. Okay, that color with khaki pops with denim as well, really gives you this like kind of pop color look, um, which makes an outfit the way that it is. Okay, normal size large in her. And then Amanda in this, this is my like soccer mom, okay, styling. Um, pair of jeans, pair of sneakers, has a T under that, zip up hoodie, throw a hat on, that's like no wash hat, hair day, have to take my kids, run them to five different sports, five different places. That's that mom hooded jacket, track jacket, sports jacket type of look for put together and fabulous piece, okay? Amanda was in her normal size extra large, okay? Any other questions on this one? I would say normal size, it will be the perfect fit. If between and you want a little bit slimmer, this is that little bit slimmer, it fits just fine. Okay, just sits a little bit closer to me, but I probably would not layer this one much at all. I love it with just a basic tee, would love it with just a tank. If I really wanted something that was just like, I just need to throw this on, being between sizes, don't care what I have underneath it, then I would go up to the small for just a little bit more roomy, so I can wear both, both comfortably. Okay, all right, let's move on to, there's the small on me. Okay, let's go to the, where am I at? The, the Bozeman Cloud Cardi. Oh my gosh. Cloud Cardi's cloud material is a, hold on, let me find this one. Another home run knit style for this. And you know me, and I'm gonna go back to my talking about how I don't love sweaters that are fuzzy and itchy. Mine have to be soft and cuddly. And here we go. This is like maximum softness and cuddliness, cuddle, cuddleness in this cloud material. So just like our cloud blanket, 
just like our cloud pullovers that we've done in the past. What else have we done in cloud? Cloud pullover, cloud blanket, cloud, no, we've, done, we've done cloud too, too. We've done lots in cloud too. But we did this fun, like aztec -y kind of knit, look at this. So you have kind of this gut striping, you have these Aztec um, designs here on the arm and on the side. You've got the striping and a little bit of like dot work, the striping here. So you can roll this over if you want this to kind of be cowl and look at the inside knit is like the ivory plus the tan, neutral tan color. So that looks fabulous just to roll it like that if you don't want to roll that up and just kind of leave this out. It's got long, nice long sleeves nice and stretchy the material is so so stretchy made to be a casual fit so not made to be tight not designed to be fitted for some of you you may want to size down to be more fitted this is the oops hold on this is the extra small on me nice and cozy has all that wrapping type of feature cozy up for hey nice long sleeves on this you can cuff the sleeve if you needed to or wanted to just has that look at that fun See how the fun kind of speckled um, knit comes through there a little bit, okay? So you can, you can cozy that up. You can slide the sleeves up if you need to. Just really, really easy. Nice, that stretch and that how comfortable it is makes this one really supreme, okay? Um, and then it has, you can see that the inside, see how we did, the, this is an intarsia knit, so you have to, you have to double, double knit this to get um, that white in the pattern. But I kind of love how it just looks casual. You see that a little bit of that white come through. Looks casual, super cozy. The great thing about it is that it's neutral. So you literally can throw this on with any graphic tee, any type of like t-shirt, long sleeve, sweatshirt. You could do a high neck, you could do a mock neck under this. You could dress this up, you can dress this down. You could put this with black jeans and make it kind of classy like to an event, to a dinner, or just simply like throw this on at home. I love it with a graphic tee. I think it's fabulous, easy to throw on, and then you have those like all the neat stitch work, okay? So that was extra small on me. Small gives me that cozy like at home cuddle up type of a thing. So between sizes, if you really want that like super ultra cozy, nice, long, and drapey, and then this one gives me more length, by going to the small, um, oh, and then the back. See how fabulous even the back is? The line work coming down, the little dot pattern here underneath the sleeve. Um, the small gives me just that like extra level of wrap and cuddliness too. So at home for me, um, this is, I love my, my items to be a little bit more on the oversized side. So I would call it an oversized relaxed fit. Um, and I can still pull the sleeves up fine on this one too. Okay. Oh, any questions on this one? The color penny says, can you describe the color? The color is just a very neutral brown tan, very neutral tan. So not pink, not, I mean, it's just like the perfect tan, neutral tan color. Go with everything neutral tan. And then the, um, obviously all of this is ivory on it. So very neutral, goes with everything. Nice long sleeves on this. Man, I hate when cardigan sleeves are too, or too short, so you have the nice long sleeve, but you can roll that up if you need to. Okay, Taylor in this one. It is the cozy cup of coffee with a heavy splash of cream. Great way to describe it, Debbie, okay? So layer it up if you do wanna turn it into something like an outfit, like you know something you pair together, but you can put this little plaid underneath. She's pulling out kind of the brown in there, has that little pop of sage color in there. Taylor's in the extra small, I'm in the small in this one for like that more slouchy oversized fit. So relaxed fit casual, cozy, oversized type of styling, and then the big um, Aztec print in the bottom, and then you can see the little striping down on the shoulders. Just very, very flattering, the artwork on here, with giving kind of that um, aztec -y mountain vibes. It's like mountain vibes. <laughs> okay, extra on her, and then Denise in this one, and then Denise has it dressed up. So this is what I'm saying. If you wanted to put together a look that kind of was classy, you could do black jeans. She's got her workwear pants on. She's got the brown belt that's kind of pulling out the brown, a little bit classier style of a tee. You could even do a button down with this and pull that collar out if you wanted to kind of dress and style this up a little bit. Um, but otherwise, like, you can just be like this and answer your door. <laughs> um, so 
it has options. You can make it dressy, you can make it super casual. And she's in her normal size medium. Yes. Normal size medium, okay? Is it, does it look, it looks like, um, no, it's not, the desert belt bag's gonna be more pink, Renee. The desert sand, desert, desert something is more pink. If you pop on over the VIP page, the girls could compare the color um, for you to that, but this is gonna be more, um, this is more brown, not pink in this one. So Penny, it's, it's, it's not taupe. <laughs> it's definitely not pink. It's good, just tan. It's a good tan, good tan color. There we go. Okay, Michelle in this, the neutral of the tan um, works great with color and bottom. So if you have the, you, you could do this with the taupe, you could do this with the, um, the natural khaki color, you can do it with the green. I mean, being that it has that tan color really makes it versatile in how you wear and style this. And Michelle in her normal size large. Okay, looks good with the plaid. Do you like the silk material? I don't know, Michelle, the silk material, I'm not sure what you're referring to, the silky material. If that's this, that's what, oh, Amanda's down here. I Why just, did I forget I about Amanda? <laughs> I forgot about Amanda. She's like flying down last minute with the changes and I'm going way too fast, apparently. She's got it paired with the stripe long sleeve tunic tee. Yes, I just kept okay. it in. And she tucked it in and she paired it with the brown. The tone on tone is the thing, you guys. So the tone on tone, Amanda's rocking. If, you've, if you're worried about that, if you wanna step into the trend, if you've seen that trend, this is a great way to do it. So she's got it on with our coated denim pants, the tone on tone with the ivory and the brown and the stripe, and then the Aztec Cardi on top. Good, I'm glad you popped in. We would have missed that <laughs> outfit. That's a fabulous outfit. <laughs> okay, any other questions on this one? I was in your normal size, it's comfortable not tight, the material is very cozy, very warm, nice and stretchy, and I am roasting. <laughs> um, let's see, can we go on to the, where am I at, where am I at? The multi-check, oh, my sneakers are last, you guys, I gotta blast through this. Multi-check, stripe, multi-check, not stripe, multi-check, pink, yellow, multi-check scarf, okay? Fringy raw sides in here. What we did on this one is we did colors in here that we know are in a lot of things that we're releasing, a lot of things that look good with a scarf option that you need to that you want to put on with like a jacket or outerwear. You have like a lot of denim blue in here. You have some pop of yellow, some kind of blushy pink, and then there's that mist, silver mist, silver mist type color. But what's great about this is kind of no matter like how you hang it and wrap it you get those mix of those colors so you can kind of flip this that you get a little bit more of the yellow and the blue facing i was not wasn't gonna pull out my hair because there we go um but you can kind of loosen this up you can throw this under a jacket but you get that that plaid check pattern um in the blues denim blues sagey blue, light blue, and then that kind of pink popping through. And then last, but not least, okay, is finally, 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 where are they at? The sneakers are here, here we go, in two colors. Can someone bring me down the, um, the other color in these, the tan and natural in this one? Um, I'm just gonna wrap up and get this. Two colors, okay, so. Oh, these were supposed to be here like two months ago, and I'm just glad they're finally here because this is the first time that we have ever done a like street sneaker. Okay, so not athletic. We're not competing with Nike. Okay? These are not a Nike shoe. This is a fashion street sneaker that is made like the look. It is a sneaker, but not recommend. It is not athletic. We're not, we're not recommending you work out in this shoe. It is a fashion sneaker style, okay? Full tie. It has the real ties, I promise. It's just kind of tucked in there in the shoe, okay? And then two colors in this one, they're gonna grab me the other color, but you have, um, the whole thing is faux leather, fully wipeable, okay, you can wipe it. In fact, the pair that I have on right now, someone spilled coffee on me on the airplane, and I was like, oh no, that's not gonna come off, 
And I just used a damp cloth and just wiped it right off, like the coffee stain was on the white from someone who spilled coffee. Okay, so fully wipeable, and I'm coming up here to show you the colors in this. So this is the this is the black white malty, I think we call it. So you have the black kind of around the toe, you've got this nice kind of cognac here around this. You have like a platinum, I think we call it platinum V color, and then just a little touch of blush. Thank you. Little touch of blush on this one. Um, and so really get the multi kind of multi looks in this one. Then the tonal version of this, which, oh, and then by the way, there's the tongue in here, squishy tongue, and then you get a little bit of a GNL embossed pop on there. And then this is the neutral option. So this is gonna give you like pop and character, fashion, call attention to your shoe. I do need to say that when I wore this in the air, I wore this to and from Vail from our photo shoot last week. I had three people in that airport stop and ask me where I got my sneakers. And I was like, get them at 11 o'clock in a few weeks. <laughs> I'm not sure when they're going to be here, but they'll be a few weeks. Graceandlace.com, you'll see them pop up on there. Um, they, because they do, they're, they're kind of a showstopper. They are a showstopper in their color. For those of you not wanting a showstopper shoe and prefer more of a neutral type of option, this is like a neutral taupe through here. You get a little bit of that tan, which ties in with the, um, the, the sole of the sneaker. Um, and then ties in here in the back and just really has more of that neutral feel. There's kind of the top down look and the GNL logo embossed here on the tongue. They all have the removable foot bed. Okay, the foot, the insole is all removable in them. We do this on purpose because we're not Nike and we're not Hoka's and we're not making a shoe um, intentionally for like arch support foot support. This is a fashion shoe, okay, that we want you to be wearing, be able to wear all the time and be comfortable in and all the time. We know that some of you have like foot needs where you need an insole. In fact, even in my, uh, my star sneakers, I have an insole in one pair that I wear all the time. I think because I was, oh, it's going to be at market and I was going to be on my feet all day. Okay. I would put an insole from Walgreens. I just got one of those gel insoles. You just slide it in the bottom of the footbed, put your insole in then, and then put this insole over the top of that. Okay. You never know it's there, but it gives you that additional support. We'll also know like, um, that some people need like official, like custom orthotics and foot support, arch support. They can easily slide those into the shoe, which makes them like fabulous and perfect. Okay. Now for sizing, this is the most important thing. We had to use a European ish size for this footbed, but I know that gets really, really confusing for people. So I'm going to just tell you order one size up. Okay. So I'm normally a six, six and a half, and I have on the seven, which fit me perfectly. Now, why am I in the seven and not the seven and a half? If I'm saying one size up, because that's because I can be a six and I can wear sixes. I can wear a six in the star sneaker. I can wear a six in a lot other brands. I'm usually a six and a half. And so the seven in these is absolutely perfect on me. I've got the room in the toe that I need in the seven. I could go to a seven and a half and be just fine as well. So I know this isn't ideal. I know this isn't um, ideal that it's not like a size. That, so some of you are gonna say, help, I'm never that size in a pair of sneakers. Just trust me, okay? I'm just telling you to trust me. Trust me in a lot of other things in the past before. Um, so order one size up from your normal size. So if you're half size, if just like I said, I'm a six, I'm a six and a half usually. I can wear a six. So I can do the seven in these. Let me see what size. Oh, this is a seven and a half. So let me put this one on for you too. This is a seven. This is the pair that I wore all day, every day, traveling in the airport. I wore in veil for the photo shoot all day, every day. And now I'm doing the seven and a half in these. And can you come back here on me? Yeah. So I can wear this one is a little bit wider on me. Um, because I have a narrow foot. Otherwise, lengthwise, this one's fine. I've got more room in the length. I don't know if you can, <laughs> it's probably the most unflattering angle ever. Okay, the length is fine, but the, um, it's just a little, I have a little bit more room in the foot of the shoe, but I can wear that one just fine too. So I would go, I would just listen, just listen to me. Okay, just listen. Um, yes, if you wear a five, I would wear the six. So those of you that are small shoed, 
small feet that say, I never can wear shoes because we don't make a size five, um, you would be the ones that can wear a six in these. Now, I realize that does size some, some of you out that are, I know size like 10, 11, whatever, I'm sorry. I wish we could have made these bigger. I wish we could have made them not in a European sole, um, would have been more ideal. But anyway, so the, um, oh, I can, throw, I can throw on the tan version, I think, too, for you guys. Okay, so I've got sevens on in both of my shoes, and I'm gonna come back and show you here in a second. I don't have these, like, tied, but okay. So <laughs> here's the difference in look. This is a great comparison. So you can see this one, the black and white, really gives you a pop. You can have that pop blush back here at the heel, very, very black and white and has that cognac. And then this is the real neutral. I can't wait to wear this one with like our sweat outfit with like a pair of just, just when you don't need your foot to like scream at you for styling, just even every day. It's a really good coloring for the other day. Both are size seven, both fit me equally, okay? Um, which is up from my normal size. I'm never usually a seven. And in fact, I can even do the seven and a half like I showed you. So I would suggest one full size up from your normal size. A half size if you can be, like I said, so if you're, if you're an eight and sometimes an eight and a half, I would go to nine or possibly even nine and a half for the full size. But because you can be an eight, you might be okay in a nine. Um, if you have a wider foot, definitely up to the nine and a half being the full size from your normal size. Okay, any questions on this? And then I'm signing off <laughs> in a long time. Any questions on the shoes? Two colors, both the sole color. Oh, obviously you can see that's the one I've been wearing a lot. <laughs> um, the the sole is both the same on all of them. All of that same is just the upper. The fit is the same between the colors. It's just the upper that are different in the colors, okay? Should I look at, Kimberly, I, would, I wouldn't even compare them to star sneakers. I wouldn't compare them to any other thing except for what your normal shoe size is. I would go by that. So not what your star sneaker size is, not what size you are in any other of our shoes. I would just say what you normally go to the store. If you were to walk into a shoe store, where would you go? Would that be eight? Would that be eight and a half? Would that be eight and a half or nine? What is your normal shoe? And I would go up one full size from that one, okay? Any other questions on those? Otherwise, if you have further questions, because I'm signing off, um, hop on over to our VIP page, Grace and Lace Facebook VIPs, Grace and Lace VIPs. Um, the girls can help you there with any other further questions. Otherwise, I'm signing off for today, and we will see you back um, late next week. Same time, same place, and hopefully Facebook will be working. So if you prefer to watch us on Facebook, um, check back there. We hopefully can get that working for next time. So. Have a great rest of your Friday. Have a great weekend. I hope it feels like fall where you are and hope you can send that to Texas this weekend. I'll see you, I'll see you next week. Bye.